my freezer. My freezer has a lot of different uses. Um, don't think of your, your freezer as just a repository for ice and frozen food. It can be that, but it can be so much more. So what I use my freezer for is when I have to buy things that I know I'm not going to be able to get um, to get through it, you know, before it gets moldy or it goes bad, I will package whatever I don't think I'm going to use within that within that time frame, and I will put it up in my freezer. I make double batches of a lot of things that just take a little bit longer to make um, and keep well. So like pulled pork. Um, different kinds of soups, those things get put into my freezer. And then I always keep a lot of frozen um, foods that are just going to be ready to go but are more ingredients rather than full meals um, like seafood or vegetables and such. But I also do have some shortcut meals in my freezer because you, all, everyone has those nights where you just need to rely on something else to get dinner on the table and that's completely okay. That's actually really good. You always wanna have a couple of shortcuts, backups in, in, in pan hand. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into the freezer. All right, so here we've got all of our frozen vegetables. I like to keep the frozen vegetables on this drawer just so they're always um, within view. I can see when I'm running low of it, I can go to the store and pick that up. Um, I usually keep a variety of things, beans, um, edamame, peas, carrots, uh, corn. So I always have something to throw into a fried rice or throw into a burrito or throw into some soups. Um, so that's what I rely on frozen vegetables for. Again, um, great to have a variety of them. You can, you know, they'll last for a long time. Don't, you know, completely fill your fridge up with them, but always good to have a variety on hand. Um, up here, I've got some frozen seafood. So I always keep some frozen shrimp and some frozen fish in my freezer as well. These things defrost really quickly. So even if you don't remember to take something out in the morning when you're leaving for work and you know defrost it in the countertop or on the in the fridge, um, with with frozen seafood, you can literally just put it into a bowl of cold water when you get home from work. And usually in 15, 20 minutes, that shrimp or that fish has been defrosted. Um, with the shrimp, you can throw it right into the bowl of water. With fish, you might want to package it up into a Ziploc bag first and then throw it into the water. So I always keep a couple bags of frozen shrimp, a couple bags of different kinds of fish like tilapia, halibut. Um, these are things I buy at my local store, already frozen. Um, so it definitely comes a little bit less expensive too, so that is always helpful. All right, so aside from the, the seafood proteins, we also, I also keep, of course, um, some animal proteins. Um, so what I'll do is, you know, if there's a sale on chicken breast or if there's a sale on pork chops or something, I will buy a larger bulk and separate them up um, and put it into Ziploc bags or wrap them in foil. And I just try to make sure to label. I don't always label everything, but I, I often do try to label most things with what it is and when I have when I, you know when I bought it um, so and I try to use it between you know three to six months of that date so again these are things if you're running out the door um, you know you go to work and you're just thinking like oh I don't know what to make for dinner tonight you can easily just go in and grab what you have um, with proteins if they're already been separated into serving sizes even better just take them out leave them on the countertop have them defrost um, and hopefully by the time you get home from work they're already defrosted and if not you can kind of finish that last mile um, put this put this in a, in a bag of, of, of water as well um, and even better if you if you pre-season these or pre-marinate them and then freeze them your meat should already be really seasoned and ready to go um, I also kind of do the what can I make in a larger batch, right? So things like pulled pork, I've got some soups in here as well. Like you make them in a big pot and your big slow cooker pot and you're gonna, you know, probably not wanna eat six quarts of it all in one week. And so I always separate them out, you know, whatever I have left over I can freeze and then make a totally different meal. Like something with pulled pork. I think we had these as sandwiches a couple weeks ago and I'm sure when I defrost this, um, Again, I can make it into tacos, um, I can do sandwiches again, I can use this to top a salad, do like a southwestern salad. But again, it's one of those things where if you're off to work, don't know what to make, open up your freezer and see what's in there and use it as your backup.